Hello friends, my name is Tiran Desai. Today I am going to share with you my knowledge about air and water. First of all, air and water are essential for life on the earth. Air. Air is present all around us. Air occupies space. Air can feel but cannot be seen. Air is mixture of gases. Air contains three major gases, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Oxygen is taken by animals and gives out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is used by plants for making their food and release oxygen. W-A-T-E-R Water More than three-fourths of our earth's surface is covered with water. More than 70% of our body weight is made up of water. Water is present in food materials and in the human body cannot be seen. Water is found in three forms. Ice, water and water vapor. These are the three forms of water. Ice is the solid form of water. Water is the liquid form of water. Water vapor is the gaseous form of water. As you can see on the board, this is very simple chart. How the water changes its forms by heating and cooling. The two processes of heating are melting and evaporation. In melting, the solid form of water ice changes into the liquid form of water, water. And in the evaporation, the liquid form of water, water, changes into the gaseous form of water, water vapor. Now, two processes of cooling are condensation and freezing. In condensation, the gaseous form of water, water vapor, changes into liquid form of water, water. And in the freezing, the liquid form of water, water changes into the solid form of water and water cycle. The heat of the sun evaporates water into water vapor. The hot water vapor rises up. Up it cools and forms tiny water droplets around dust particles. These particles join together to form clouds. Clouds become heavy and fall down as rain. The rain water flows back into the water bodies. The different form of water keeps cycling in nature forming water cycle. It is due to water cycle. The balance of different form of water is maintained and we get a constant supply of water.